right, so we're here Thursday morning. It's uh, pretty breezy. It's gonna start raining soon. I'm gonna get to it, finish off the formwork behind me. Cement truck's coming tomorrow morning. So I wanna make sure that everything's in place. Rebars are in, just getting ready for the big pour. All I gotta do now, as you see behind me, is I gotta backfill around the footing so they don't blow out when we pour the concrete. But other than that, we're ready to go. So if you take a look at these footings, you can see I've got uh, 320M bars running all along the footing. So this is a spec out by the engineer. This is what he was looking for. Now, what's unusual about this is I've got two inch rigid insulation underneath the slab. The reason behind that is I can't dig down to get frost protection. And as you can see by the lake, at about four feet, I'm probably gonna hit the water table. So the reason uh, we're doing this is because uh, I need the frost protection. Uh, although this is unusual, this is actually a really good way to protect the footings from any heaving or any frost adversely affecting the footings. Okay, so I just finished the footings. We're all formed up, rebars in place, insulation, uh, everything's level. I've got concrete, it's gonna be here in about two hours. Uh, because the boathouse is 40 feet long, I went and got a conveyor belt, but the conveyor belt will only do 32 feet. So I had to call in some extra help. There's quite a bit of concrete at the far end, especially in the front, and I'm gonna need some help. It's gonna take quite a bit of work to wheelbarrow concrete back and forth, it's, uh, it gets tiring. So uh, I've got someone on the way to help me with that. Really my only concern right now is if I get a blowout because the front's 18 inches deep by 20 inches wide. So there's a lot of concrete going in there. I'm gonna go right now and make sure I put extra rocks around the front of the perimeter, around the, the forms, because if I get a blowout, I'm at least an hour and a half away from a, another ready mix plant. And uh, that'll be devastating. That'll be a, a big loss. We're gonna make certain that that front doesn't blow out. The uh, foundation walls were poured. I wasn't here to see it. So uh, I'm coming down to take a look to see uh, if everything's according to plan. I was there before they actually poured it, but I wasn't here for the actual pour. So everything should be in place, but uh, we'll see what we walk into right now. Those are all poured up. There's a partition for a bit of a workshop in the back. Right here in the front, this is gonna be basically boat storage, boat motors, life jackets, whatnot. Yeah, we gotta put some insulation here to cover all along the footings to protect because we're in some frost susceptible material here. But other than that, uh, it's looking pretty good. Guys did a really good job. Next step now is to complete the insulation as per the plans, throw in some weeping tile and uh, pour that slab. here I just want to take a break and just take this all in look how close we are to the water here absolutely incredible all right so we just finished foaming the insulation all around the perimeter the back side of the building next step is uh, backfill pack and uh, putting some reinforcing and ready for slab so things are moving along really well
All right, so we're back on site and uh, I just couldn't hand bomb the other side. It's just too much work. So I've got uh, someone to come in with an excavator to help me out, spread it all over, pack it down and uh, finish it up for the port tomorrow. It's official, the slab is ready to go. See you tomorrow when we're ready to pour. All right, so that's it for the boathouse. I have a little bit of backfilling to do in the front corner, but that won't take very long. But now it's time to focus all of our attention on the cottage. The cottage will be the next series of videos. And basically I'll take you start to finish of a, a roughly a thousand square foot cottage located roughly 10 feet away from high watermark. Bit of a unique project. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, follow along.